Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, Smoothin again, and today I'm going to solve a usefully step one new world question of the microbiology block. A 56 year old man with an advanced AIDS come to the emergency department due to several weeks of progressive fever, uh, night sweats, weight loss, and diarrhea, and generalized weakness. Physical examination uh, shows mucosal bailer, generalized lymphadenopathy, and hepatosplenomegaly. Laboratory studies reveal anemia and elevated alkaline phosphatase and lactate dehydrogenase levels. CD4 count is 16 per mm cube. Bone marrow biopsy shows aggregates of uh, ibisiliod histocytes with foamy cytoplasm and numerous acid fast intracellular organisms. Nucleic acid amplification test of the sample for mycobacterium tuberculosis is negative. Which of the following pathogens is most likely cause of this patient illness? The correct answer here is D, which is the microbacterium avium, because microbacterium avium complex infections are common in patients with advanced uh, acquired immunodeficiency uh, syndrome and the bacterial uh, bacterium often spreads through the bloodstream and reticular endothelium uh, system and causes non-specific symptoms like fever fatigue weight loss and diarrhea lymphadenopathy and hepatosplenomegaly diagnosis is often made on blood culture or bone marrow aspirate uh, it shows intracellular acid fast bacteria that are not mycobacterium tuberculosis and now we're going to read the u world explanation the patient uh, subacute systemic symptoms for example fever night sweats weight loss and weakness lymphadenopathy hepatosplenomegaly elevated alkaline phosphatase and the intracellular acid fast bacteria raises strong suspicion for a disseminated mycobacterium avium complex the MAC is an infection caused by the non-tuberculosis mycobacterium M. avium and mycobacterium intracellular. Although these infections can occur in both immunocompetent and immunosuppressed host, most cases arise in patients with untreated AIDS who have CD4 count less than 50 per mm cube. Macroorganisms are acquired by ingestion or by inhalation. They are phagocytosed by macrophages but immediately evade their destruction due to microbial violence factors that prevent the phagolysosome formation. In healthy individuals, the infection is controlled with the cell-mediated immune response. However, in patients with advanced AIDS, the body is unable to generate sufficient CD4 mediated uh, cytokines, for example, interferon gamma, to activate the macrophages which allow the pathogen to spread through the bloodstream and the reticular endothelium system. Most patients with disseminated infection have non specific symptoms, as we said earlier, like fever, uh, weight loss, diarrhea. Widespread involvement of the reticular endothelial system often causes anemia, hepatosplenomegaly, and or elevated alkaline phosphatase and lactate dehydrogenase. The diagnosis is made up with blood, uh, blood macrophages with intracellular acid fast bacilli. Granulomata may be seen. And now as we can see in here in this picture, that's the picture of mycobacterium avium complex. We can see the hematoptic cells, the macrophages, and the acid fast bacilli within the macrophage. And those are my accounts and thank you for watching.